I'm here with Ed. You're watching EasyLiving.com. Hey everyone, welcome to EasyLiving.com. Now in this episode, we're going to be talking about Shah's favorite subject, interior design, specifically paints. Absolutely. Look, I'm a big fan of interior design. Uh, I, I believe in modernism and simplicity, but I really emphasize the use of proper color. Mm -hmm. Homes that are pure white basically say that you are really boring. Now that doesn't mean that there are a group and category of people who like to live in a white clean environment. Sure. That also is a message but on a whole if you choose colors uh, it really says a lot about your inner personality and the other thing is what you want to project to the world. Definitely and it's funny you should say that because I've run into a bit of a problem. I've moved into a new apartment and uh, as you said most of the apartments here in Dubai are just white or off-white and I don't particularly like that. I like something with color. I like a color that is striking but the thing is I don't know what color to choose. I want to choose a color that says something about me. Mm -hmm. Well look standard colors in apartments especially those that are up for rent is white because mm -hmm. it's easier to maintain and if a tenant moves out and a new tenant comes in it's just basically a coat of white paint and sure. and and they can apply it but don't be afraid to take that white wall and color it mm -hmm. because you're going to be living in that environment for a year minimum and if you like your apartment it'll be two or three or four years mm -hmm. especially if you're going to be working here you might as well Put some effort change into it. it you yeah, know, change that, it. That again says something about you, makes you feel good, and when you do have friends over, it becomes a conversation piece on its own. Definitely. So I did a bit of research because now I want to paint the wall. So I thought, heck, let's uh, see what kind of colors best describe me. Now, funny enough, orange. I wouldn't thought it would be a color that I would like, but what they say about the color is something that I can relate to. So. Orange signifies creativity and expands your thinking. Um, it also reduces self-consciousness and allows you to express yourself with confidence, which I found quite surprising. Uh, blue is also another color that uh, not only do I like, but I also like uh, the, the effect it can have on you. So blue signifies uh, efficiency and purity, our thinking especially. So it does have a calming effect on you. It declutters your mind. Um, and the great thing is um, you can put blue in any oversized area. So any big part of your room or your living room, it goes well there. Yellow, energy, it has, you know, it's the color of the sun. So it has a lot of energy. Make sure that if you are applying yellow, it's again, on the outside, close to your kitchen, outside of your kitchen, a corridor sure. would be fantastic, a hallway would be great, and it goes really, really well with a gold-framed mirror. That's some good advice. So we actually went out on the streets in Dubai and thought, heck, let's get your opinion on what colors you would like to put in your living room, or if you do have a particular color, what is it? Okay, if you had to paint your living room wall, what color would you paint it? No specific color? Don't you have a favorite color that you would paint your wall? Well, usually they make the white because they can put any color. It makes the room look bigger? Yeah. If you had to paint a room in your, in your apartment, what color would you paint it? Uh, if you ask me, orange. orange. If you ask me, I want red. Red? Red, you'd paint it red? What color would you paint orange. it? Orange as well? Okay, why particularly red? Is it just because it's your favorite color or? Uh, it's just because uh, it's more on masculine and it's more on... Uh, uh, a dangerous... Yeah. Oh, so it matches your feelings. If you had to paint your living room, what color would you paint it? Uh, maybe something uh, related to to sands, uh, some uh, gold. So a very sort of uh, earthy color, yeah, yeah. sandy, gold yeah, yeah. color, something like that. Yeah. Is there a particular reason for that type of color? Is it a favorite color of yours? It's uh, maybe background for me because uh, in my country, uh, the desert is, uh, it's, uh, more... It plays a big part yeah. in your culture, yeah. that particular color. Yeah. So there you go, exactly what we assumed. Everyone initially said white walls will do just fine. Our guess is that most of these people have rented apartments or they live in rented housing, mm. uh, rented houses. So, but when we then explored the question and said, we said, look, if you, if you could, what color would you choose? Well, you heard the answers. So 
What do you think about that? Definitely. I particularly like as well the, the last gentleman we spoke to. His culture influenced the color that he would have chosen. So that also has an impact on you as well. You see, he said a sandy gold color. Right. That's not something I would choose, but it obviously is something that means something to him right. because of his culture and background. So that's sure. a big factor as well. Culture plays a huge role. Um, the colors that you can associate with, your culture associates with, obviously you'll try and incorporate that into your, your, uh, your lifestyle. Definitely. Uh, let me guess, the gentleman was from India? No, he was not. He was uh, of an Arabic country. Okay. So the sand, the desert, yeah. that kind of color, those sort of sandy oranges, goldy right. colors, was something that was very uh, significant to him. I was going to say, because gold, gold color then signifies, you know when you, we talked about this, um, uh, green being the, the uh, color of wealth, sure. right? So in some cultures, gold is obviously the, the color of wealth because mm -hmm. it's associated with the gold bullion. Yeah. So different cultures, different colors mean different things. Definitely. So if you have any uh, suggestions for myself as to what type of color I should choose, please let me know. You can either put them in the comments down below or tweet us at Easy Living. Um, you can also leave a comment on our Facebook page. I would welcome them all. Thanks guys for watching. You're watching EasyLiving.com where you can find anything and everything lifestyle.